Blumpkin, no, not you. Don't be a hero. Please, no. Please? Please don't do this. <laughs> the guy is stuck. Just leave him. No, wait, wait for... What the hell just happened? Wh um... Can anyone explain that? I'm dead serious when I say this might be the most shocked I've ever been in this game because Grim is on the other side of the river. He didn't do that. He's way too far away. It looks like Blumpkin did it, like he used some kind of psychic attack and crumpled this potion cellar. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, where for today's episode, we've got even more user-made content. Like, you guys have been very busy over the last week making a lot of really weird and overpowered stuff and then squirting it onto the workshop for me to hopefully find it, and I have found quite a bit of it. I've downloaded some campaigns, I've downloaded some units, some really powerful, some really dumb, and now I'm gonna spend the better part of 20 minutes asking myself, why? We'll start things off with a campaign simply called Captain Sauce's Protect the Hobbit, which may very well be one of the best things that I've invented in this game. Like, not only did it spin off a bunch of other YouTubers doing the same thing, but the developers of Tabs literally introduced alternate wing conditions shortly after I made those videos. Like, I'm convinced that it's because of Blumpkin here. Like, the idea being Blumpkin the Hobbit is always on the battlefield, no matter what, every single time, and I need to protect him. If he dies, I lose, even if I kill the enemy. I gotta kill all of them and keep him alive, which is really, really difficult. <laughs> because he's got a brain as smooth as an egg and he's twice as fragile. Our first challenge is called Savages from the Woods, where it looks like the tribal faction have surrounded us and wanna scramble Blumpkin, of course. <laughs> I mean, can you really blame them? Except for this time, I only need to survive for 15 seconds, which is, Unique, you know, like so many people make these custom levels and never bother using the alternate win conditions. I've been playing this for months. I don't think I've ever played a timed level before. Normally, you know, I, I would just use the Western faction here. His bullets are quite effective against loincloths. <laughs> but I'd only be able to afford a couple of shooters. I really want to make sure that I've got a lot of bodies between the VIP or VIB, I suppose, and the enemy. Uh, the skeletons are good, I can afford a lot of them. They got shields to block with, they can spook people, which is actually really effective now that I think about it, because I don't need to kill the enemy, I just need to run down the clock. And if we can have them running around all freaked out, then all the better. <laughs> this should work, so long as Blumpkin doesn't charge into battle. Okay, yeah, just dive head first into the enemy. That is not what we need right now. <gasps> protect him, protect him. Oh, okay, no, he's making a run for it. That's good. I mean, he's surrounded and probably screwed, but he survived, so I'm gonna call it a win. Oh yeah, there isn't a single skeleton left in sight. He is absolutely gonna get turned into a hat. Our next level's fittingly called Clever Girls where we're gonna have to deal with some raptors. And I'm not talking about these two raptor riders. I'm talking about all these raptors. <laughs> the ones coming from behind, which might be a massive problem. I mean, they should have to come through this choke point, right? I don't think they'd be smart enough to go around. Aren't their brains like the size of a peanut? So maybe I could just toss a reaper here and then He'd be able to kill them all. He can definitely take care of all those raptors. I just need to find something worth 1,200 to take care of the rest of them. Oh, I don't know. I could just go with something real beefy. Like brawlers and maybe hoplites? Something to just stand around and protect the guy? Yeah, I like it. That might actually work. Oh, oh, there are a lot more than I had expected. Oh, crap. I couldn't move the camera to see. Oh, oh, he's dead. Took him like nine seconds and he got absolutely run over. There are so many of them. I was right. Reaper had no problem taking care of all these dumb dinosaurs, but... <laughs> There's like a hundred units on this map. How is this fair? 
it's a bit of a bummer, but I can appreciate not letting people use their custom units in a campaign like this. But why can't I use the legacy faction? I was gonna say, if I could put down a banner bearer and just keep Blumpkin in place and have the fight occur around him, then maybe I would stand a chance, but things just got even more complicated. Again, I would like to go with guns, but there's just so many of them. I kinda wanna have the fight follow him. If I put a Grim Reaper right up his butt, then maybe they'll stick together as the madness ensues around them. Listen, I'm not above feeding a bard to dinosaurs if it means distracting for long enough. If I can have them run around like complete idiots, then maybe the dinosaurs will fill up on bards? It's probably not the greatest strategy, but it's what I'm going with. All right, now you two, stick together, please. Goods. Okay, buddy system. Grim, this is all on you. Just pick them off one at a time before Blumpkin decides to be a hero. Oh my god. This is actually working. Th this was flawless. Oh, oh, are we good? Are you alive? He's alive. <laughs> the dinosaur corpse fell on him. I'm not going to be able to keep this up forever. These levels are only going to get harder. Do you see what I mean when I say things are gonna get out of hand? Like suddenly we found ourselves in snuffy breeding territory and they are absolutely giving it to one another. I, I really don't like the sounds. But there's a level called Snuffy's Legion and if we're not careful, I get the feeling Blumpkin our Hobbit is gonna get worn out like a sock. What are we gonna use? I can guarantee I don't have anything to fight this many Snuffies. Doesn't matter how much money they give me. I just need to delay again, and the Jarl is pretty good at that. Right, because he's got that weird little ice arena that he can create. Hopefully separate everybody. Hey, at least, you know, a, a dick's length would be wonderful. Uh, yeah, let's try that. I don't feel good about this in the slightest. It's only 10 seconds, oh my god. Uh, we're gonna have to search for him after this because I have no idea if he survived. If he died, there's no way his body decomposed in under 10 seconds, but he's nowhere to be seen. I've been looking for like five minutes now. He could be encased in ice. He could be up a snuffy butt. I have no idea, but he's gone. So we're gonna consider this a loss. So what have we learned? So other than Snuffy isn't a very picky lover. I think the biggest problem is that once they get themselves sorted out, they're gonna charge into the circle. If my units are in the circle, maybe we could use something like a jouster? They could kind of run away or run around and maybe not have all the snuffies pile into the middle. That'd be super helpful. They might be into horses, who knows? I just, I don't have any way of protecting Blumpkin. Healers are probably not gonna do a whole lot, but you never know. I should just be using a lot of units, you know? Maybe if we just go with numbers, we could distract and delay again. Going with a lot of knights isn't exactly cheap, but better than nothing. Bards, yeah, sure, get the bards in there again. Just as many units as possible, so long as they charge out of the way and don't stick around. Blumpkin, okay, 10 second countdown. Oh, I see him. He's still alive, kind of. Oh, careful, careful, careful. No, no, you good. He got kicked. Is he dead? I think he might be dead. I think the kick killed him. Oh, that is just heartbreaking. The last second, and they didn't even try to kill him. It was an accident. I swear the wet sound of their meaty thighs slapping together is gonna haunt my dreams. And it's getting louder and more aggressive, which means we need to finish this up quick. There's gonna be a climax soon. I'm thinking they rarely fight something bigger than themselves. So what if we try a larger unit that they might not be able to charge through? Except I can't afford another one on the other side, so maybe we'll just stick with the jouster? You know, like one there and one there. You guys will all want to charge at these. 
hopefully like the biggest problem is that he just keeps running into danger he dives underneath them and then they accidentally kill him without actually trying I, I, I can promise you that he's dead. Uh, he might have gotten stepped on by one of my frost giants. I'll show you guys what I mean. I'm gonna try the exact same strategy again, except for this time, I'm actually gonna take control of him and run away. We are going to run towards safety. And just like that, we survived. <laughs> just barely, but we got out. Listen, man, I warned you. I told you there was going to be a climax and that we're going to want to wrap things up and get out of here. But no, you had to stick around and stare directly into it. They don't make soap strong enough to clean that from your brain. Now, this might be hard to believe, but we're going to move on to a level with significantly less mammoth splooge called Angry Hardworking Farmers. Where I think the idea is Blumpkin just got caught stealing an ear of corn from the fields and they want his head. Again! Perfectly reasonable. Yeah, I've wanted it for less. <laughs> Unfortunately for them, I have just enough money for a couple of reapers. And for the first time in this campaign, I actually think that he might survive. <laughs> I'm even going to give him a little personal healer just in case. Like, there's no way all these country bumpkins are going to be able to get to Blumpkin. Oh, okay. Uh, they got a potion seller on the roof. They actually got through. Okay, yep, got evaporated. I mean, you're definitely feeling it, but you're alive. If anything, that's kind of an advantage. No, I would rather he fall over and stay away from the battle and away from the river. No, 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 no. Please, please don't go in the river. No! <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. All you needed to do was stand still. Or walk to the bridge. Like, honestly, anything would have worked. Grim had this in the bag. It was so easy. I, I, I'm just gonna call a mulligan. That absolutely should have worked. That was all on Blumpkin. And again, I'm fine with him getting hit with the potion seller. If anything, it'll keep him away from the battle, which is good. You, you can go back to stealing carrots. Oh, don't you jump off the edge this time. Come on, come on, get your wits about you. What is over here for you? What do you have to gain from this? Oh my God. I've never seen a unit this dumb in tabs, honestly. I've seen them run after one another off a cliff, but never just kamikaze. This is just one of those times in tabs where you realize that the battles aren't actually totally accurate. They are so random that eventually things are gonna fall my way. They have to. We're gonna have Blumpkin. I would love for you to get stuck in a tree. That would help a whole lot. <laughs> Just stay down. S stay, stay down. Don't keep getting hit. Now, Grim, Grim, there's a guy over there. I can still, I can see him b between the buildings. Grim, go, go get him. He's throwing stuff at you. Blumpkin, no, not you. Don't be a hero. Please, no. Please, please don't do this. <laughs> the guy is stuck. Just leave him. No, wait, wait for. What the hell just happened? What? Um. Can anyone explain that? I'm dead serious when I say this might be the most shocked I've ever been in this game. Because Grim is on the other side of the river. He didn't do that. He's way too far away. It looks like Blumpkin did it. Like he used some kind of psychic attack and crumpled this potion cellar. <laughs> I don't get it. Hey, Blumpkin, I'm just going to throw it out there. If you have some kind of innate mutant ability, you can show us. Okay, we're all pro X-Men here. Feel free to crumple any unit you want. <laughs> if anything, I encourage it because we've got a level called Keep Those Crows Away. And that's a tall order. The crows are just the dumbest unit ever. I hate the scarecrows. I'm going to try the Valkyrie. I'm thinking if they can dive on top of them, then maybe the birds won't go for Blumpkin. And then I could possibly toss down something like Hoplites. Oh, no, they're too expensive. I need something really, really cheap, <laughs> like clubbers. A whole bunch of clubbers, something that the birds won't be able to dive past. Something that buys me time, maybe? I don't know if the Valkyrie can 1v1 a Scarecrow, but I'm kind of hoping that they can that they did. Oh, some of them were on roofs. No, no, you can't get up there. 
uh, the Valkyrie should be able to get up there, right? Could you maybe hide? Just, just hide right up against the building. I don't think he would be able to throw crows down at you. Oh, oh God, oh. Yes, yes, that worked flawlessly. You're good, right? You're hiding in that loincloth, yeah. First try, I needed that so badly. I think Blumpkin may have rustled a few feathers or fuzzy feet. The Shire is a little pissed that he's friends with me because I'm definitely not friends with the Shire. I'm, I'm kind of a monster to them. So they want revenge, huh? Well, we could always try the clam jam. No, these guys kind of have a hard time dealing with clams. They're almost their size. Oh, there are a lot more of them than I thought. Okay, get a lot of clams out there. And uh, we, we definitely want to protect this guy. He might be able to win a 1v1. Now would be a great time for you to telekinetically turn that thing inside out. Come on. Oh boy, no, it's overwhelming. There's so many of them. Oh my God. By the time... Wait. He actually survived. What? That worked! They can overwhelm, but they can't kill! I'll take it! It looks like the Protect the Hobbit campaign is now transitioning from timed levels to just defeating the enemy, and there are definitely a lot more levels to that campaign, so I think I'm gonna save it for another episode, because I want to get to showing you guys stuff like this. I mean, do I really need to explain what it is? You've been watching it yell at hobbits for the last, like, 15 minutes. Why should we even have the hobbit pain train stop? Let's give him the hobbit test, see how well he can hurt them. Okay, um, well, he can throw apples as well as summon lightning and breathe ice. One of those abilities is a lot less impressive than the others. <laughs> This is another one of those units that's really cool looking, and I appreciate the fact that it doesn't just fly around one-shotting stuff. Like it actually gives me the ability to play with it, but it costs twenty-two fifty on paper. It's got so many abilities that it's worth way more than twenty-two fifty. It just makes it so there's no easy way for me to show it off. I can't figure out what's a fair fight. You can lightning a tank that doesn't have much of an effect, and you can throw apples at a tank that doesn't have much of an effect. <laughs> can we see the frost breath? Or are you going to get absolutely worked by these cannonballs? I know for a fact that my spine has an allergy to cannonballs and there it is flaring up. This one's a bit more of a traditional Captain Sauce. You know, we've seen this model before. It looks a lot like the one that I had made. It just kind of stood out to me because it's got a grenade launcher. I don't think I've ever seen a grenade launcher work in tabs, and I definitely haven't seen one in my hands. Do you think it actually shoots grenades or something oh. else? No, nope, just lightning. I guess that's it for that unit. Actually, now that I think about it, we might need a little lightning. We might need some overpowered Captain Sauce help, because this is the final boss. I don't know if it's the final boss of tabs or whatever the case is, but it is the most downloaded thing on the workshop, and it looks pretty badass. I'm gonna try to kill it, but no promises. Even with those two new custom Captain Sauces and every other unit that I've made, I don't know if we're gonna be able to pull it off. Like, we're only at a tenth of the value. Let's see what this thing does, I suppose. Okay, it deflects. Ooh, don't like that. And it's got, okay. What was that? It just like exploded into a tornado and then rained down shurikens? I've never seen that before. Jesus has got him praying, but I don't think that's gonna be enough. Holy crap. Are you gonna be able to pull it off, Captain Sauce? Nope. I really didn't want to have to do this, but desperate times call for desperate measures. <laughs> You're gonna have to face off against my ultimate creation, Full Auto Santa. Don't underestimate him, the game can barely contain his ability to destroy. I, actually, I wouldn't be surprised if he just completely crashes things. Oh dear God. Okay, well the frame rate is no longer with us. And we might not even get to those packages opening. <laughs> He's got a Gatling gun that fires presents. 
which is great. You know, you're just inundating people with love, except the presents are full of units that want to kill you. So in all reality, the final boss of Tabs is facing off against everything in Tabs infinitely. Infinite is not a number or a concept that video games overly appreciate. Okay, the program is, is not doing good. Well, that is definitely a first. Not only did Full Auto Santa crash the game, but I can't open it again. It's just not working. I might need to restart my computer, but then I would have to end the recording. I think that's the end of the video. I think Full Auto Santa won by sacrificing himself and collapsing reality around the final boss. I don't know what you guys are looking at right now, something that I got later on, but for me, it's just black screen. So you know what? I think that's going to be it for this episode of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, guys. Maybe the final boss will return. You know, maybe I'll do more uh, Protect the Hobbits or some other campaigns or some more units. I don't know. There's so much to do in the game now. You guys have to let me know. Just leave a like in the video. Leave a comment letting me know if you want to see more. And maybe I'll return to screw around and, and hopefully get this game working again soon. But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.